Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Eric. My call sign is KJ4YZI and you might be watching this on Ham Radio Concepts or on the Ponderosa on YouTube. What I have here is something that was sent to me from Gigaparts in my recent lifestyle change. You know, doing it with the RV lifestyle, this right here comes in very, very handy. Now, if you're a ham radio operator, you're gonna understand exactly what this is. If you're not a ham radio operator and this interests you, you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, the idea is not to be backpack portable with something like this, but the fact that I can put this collapsed in the front storage, stow away under my travel trailer, uh, in the back of my truck even, take it to a field day for ham radio, or take it to a campsite with your RV and use it for a flag or a TV antenna mast for portable so you can get your over the air HD TV antenna, whatever you wanna do with it. This is the 34 foot carbon fiber telescopic antenna mast here. And this is the wide leg solid tripod that will accompany this 34 foot carbon fiber mast. Now, gigaparts.com is where this came from. They sent it to me and they said, Eric, I hope you enjoy this with your RV adventures because I think you'll use this a lot. And they were absolutely correct. I've had it for about a month and a half. I just decided to get around to making the video. This is really, really a great thing that I have. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you in this video what this is, give you a couple highlights about it. You know, not really, I mean, we'll give it a little review, you know, look at it and see why I think this is a very uh, good thing to have as an RVer or travel trailer or a ham radio operator that, uh, you know, wants to have a, a setup for a field day, you know, out on the beach that doesn't wanna have a permanent situation, HOAs. If you're in a homeowner's association, you can throw this thing up for a day or even at night, no one will see it in the morning, pull it down. This getting you 34 feet in the air with an antenna without having to erect something permanent. So if you're watching this on the Ponderosa channel, please check out my ham radio channel. If you're interested in ham radio, I can teach you a lot about amateur radio communications. You can subscribe to that channel and maybe get licensed one day and we could talk amongst ourselves on the radio. I'd love to have you. Or if you're not watching this on Ham Radio Concepts, check out my other channel, The Ponderosa. You might see this in January while I'm traveling with a TV antenna on it or an inverted V or a sloper. Okay, so this tripod right here. Now the last tripod I had like this was an MFJ and, and it did work, but I think this one's a lot wider on the base. It's a lot heavier duty, I think. Uh, you know, being that I haven't touched my MFJ one for a year. Um, and it, it is, uh, you know, collapsible. It, it offers me everything I need for this tripod. And let me show you. So the cool thing about this is it's very nimble. You know, it doesn't take much, much to pop the legs out. Okay. One, two, three. You put that like this. Okay. There's also legs that pop out of the bottom. So we'll fully extend this. Okay. This has the same leg brace construction things like my Sony tripod with these uh, compression like that, okay? Here we go. Now, this is fully extended. I'll grab the camera here and I'll give you a little close up of what this looks like so you can get an idea of how this tripod looks. So I would think that the, the base across the bottom, how much room from you know one side of the leg to the other here fully extended like this i'm going to say that's about six feet so that's got quite a uh, footprint on the bottom for you know stability all right and looking at this here up close let me do it in a way that the sun's not in the camera okay here's your uh here's where your mast is going to go let me show you this this is like an abs plastic here your screw, you know, screw down. You see how this is going to fasten, you know, your, your, your mast is gonna go in here and this is gonna tighten against it to keep it tight. Now what I've noticed about this also is when you put your carbon fiber mast in here, tightening this is going to squeeze on the bottom portion of that mast and make it harder to pull the last section out. So I would just get that in there and pull all the sections out and then tighten it because I couldn't figure out why the last section wouldn't come out because I had it tight here and there. Okay, here's the bottom one. Same thing. Okay, run all you know, loosen this all the way, get your mast in there. All right, and this is moving here, but what happens is you get that straight, get that mast in there, tight here, tight here, and it's going to keep that bottom leg from moving. Shiny gloss black paint on here. 
and it does have some hooks here so that you can do some sort of guying or perhaps um, sandbags, hang sandbags on there or put some rope with tent stakes and guy that if you're really in a windy situation. Here's your legs here. Okay. You don't, you know, and honestly, when I first took this out, I didn't even open those legs like that. That was, uh, that was the first time I, you know, set it up with the legs out. You really don't need to if you don't want to have that much open on the bottom. But if you want extreme stability, uh, having the legs open like that will definitely give you a, a bigger footprint so it's not going to knock over as easy. All right, so here's the 34-foot carbon fiber mast. I'll give you a little close-up here on my golf cart because that's just where it's laying. And then, um, see, there's the packaging. I just, just opened this thing. And then uh, after this, uh, I'll show you. I'm going to put it in there, and we'll deploy it, you know, show you how it looks. Now, the thing with it, they do make, the Giga Parts has uh, several models of this. Uh, the manufacturer does make carbon fiber like this, and they also make fiberglass. The difference is, look at this. This only weighs about, what, three pounds, four pounds, not even, uh, 34 foot. Now, the fiberglass of the same length is going to be much, much heavier. But the carbon fiber is going to be stronger. So I'm not sure, you know, you pay a little more for the carbon fiber, but depends on what you want. Maybe you don't need something that extravagant or heavy duty. Maybe you don't need something that's, you know, because they also make 50 foots. They make, uh, I think, 34 foot, maybe 27 foot, something like that. I think they make two or three of them. And it's got the locking, uh, you know, there's a word for this, and someone's going to bring it in the description, like a band clamp or something. I'm not sure. that That's what I consider like a seat post on a bicycle. You can adjust it with the screw here, and then it clamps, you know, uh, clamps tight on here. And in the end here, I got nothing. I bet you the the 50 foot section or 50 foot model is the same thing as this, but it has a couple more in the end. So I could get a piece of PVC that measures in that diameter. If I measured it, clamp this one on there and use that PVC, maybe put a hook on the end of it. And that's where I would hang my, my feed point or have a piece of PVC and I put a TV antenna on top of it or even a flag, you know, whatever you want to do on there. So this one's got one two no i'm sorry that one doesn't open here so we got one two three four five six sections that i can open okay they're labeled one through seven um and on the bottom there's a rubber cap the rubber cap is uh i i take it off to get it through the holes on the tripod it's got the hole in the end so that when you're closing it up you're not bound by air in there and making it hard to close up so you did see this if you look uh, on my videos on the ham radio concepts channel I did show these uh, in, in Giga Parts when I was up there in Alabama. They were just new then. We set it up in the parking lot, checked that out. And also, um, I did open one of these sections and sat on it between two chairs, one of the top sections up here, to see if I could sit on it without breaking it. And sure enough, it did not break. So the idea is this. When you have this tripod and this mast here, you can uh, set up uh, an antenna up at 34 feet and not have the thing bending over like a fishing pole. That's the idea. Okay, to show practicality here, what I'm going to do is, I have a ham radio antenna here. It happens to be the Chameleon MCOM 3. And um, although I'm not going to set it up entirely and run the wire out, because I need to position that to get out 100 and something feet of wire. But in the driveway here, I'll just show you for practicality what I would use this for. This is going to be one of the things I end up doing with it. I'm just using some yarn or thread here or whatever you call this to get that tied on there okay now if you're not a ham radio operator you could use this for a tv antenna you know at an rv park let's say you want to hook up a tv antenna and you don't want to mount anything to the trailer or rv okay what you can do is you can go like this tighten these all right want that pretty stable right there now let's say i have to get this feed point up my antenna cable would go into here. I'd run it out, but just for practical sake here, I'll show you. We're gonna run the first ones up. Now, what you'll notice is when you get up a certain height, there is, I mean, you probably can't see it, red right here. It'll tell you, you've pushed it out enough. Also, once you clamp that like that, the carbon fiber has some sort of, when you feel this, okay, it's got a uh, like a, uh, an abrasion one way so that it doesn't easily get pushed down if you have this clamped. It's kind of rough going so that if you went to push it in, it's you know against the grain, you know what I mean? It doesn't 
doesn't go in easily unless you really, you would have to really, really force it. So I'm gonna run this all the way up. Of course, I'll have to tilt the camera and show you how high this thing gets. But again, this is what I would do. Now, one of the questions somebody had is, isn't carbon fiber conductive? Well, um, to an extent, yeah, from my knowledge, not being an expert, but um, if you run this straight out, it's really not gonna be that much of a problem. All right, so let's keep going. Wow, it gets high. Okay, I run it right out to the red starts and I stop. Now you see here, see how that's hard? It's because I got the tripod tight on it. There we go. Okay, there's that. And then one more. Loosen that up a little bit more because it's pinched. There we go. Okay. Right there. And then we're going to tighten this back up. That's a way out there, man. That's way up there. Now, you see here, take this wire like this. Actually, we'll do it this way so you can see on camera. I'm going to run this out. All right. I probably won't be able to get it all out, but let me show you. This MCOM 3 here. I'm going to pull a little bit. I'm not going to pull hard. I'm going to try to pull this out tight just to see how it handles, you know, the tension on it. And again, this is not going to bend over like a fishing pole. It'll tip over before it actually bends, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. I'll tighten this up like this. Screwed that up, didn't I? There, okay. And I'm gonna run this down over the edge, there. Right there, okay? So the weight of this is pulling, it's not fully extended. Now let me get the camera and show you what it's looking like, what you could do with this. See? It gets up there pretty high, man. It's way up there. All right. All right. So with that, a little bit of weight on it, but look, let's check it out. All right. Well, it's bending a little bit, but hey, you know, if that was any other kind of pole without carbon fiber, it would have definitely either been way over. And like I said, this would tip before it actually breaks, okay? So you could put sandbags on there, but where's the wire at? Wire should be way, way over there. It's somewhere, can't see it. You can see it in the air there though. All right, so just as fast as I set that up, you got the wire going way out there. So what I would do is in the future, in the backyard, you know, I could set this thing up temporarily for portable, for ham radio operations where I don't have a mast. Or even when I'm out in the middle of, you know, boondocking on solar in an RV or setting up a TV antenna, a flag. Uh, and I think Gigaparts even said they, <laughs> for novelty, they have the little red beacon light that you can plug in the top there, a little battery powered LED, little beacon light. And, have it blinking in an RV park to look cool, you know? You can make a Christmas tree out of this. The possibilities are endless. Here's what I'll do. I'll just go like this. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Now take this, start taking this down. Loosen the, the bottom one here so that you can get the first section in. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, there we go, take that off, one, two, three, uh, Got it on there pretty good, but uh, you get the idea. 
That's it. And then this will come out of here like that. Once you take the twine off, pull that up. One, two, three. And again, oh, I'm gonna put these in. And that's it. Thanks, Giga Parts, for sending me that. Definitely uh, is something that I'm going to use a lot here on the Ponderosa. And uh, definitely something that is going to be used for whatever I can figure out to use it for. I thought about putting maybe a wind turbine on there, demonstrating wind power, like solar power. I could throw the thing on top, put it out in the backyard, and see, you know, before I make a permanent installation, is the wind turbine worth it? But at least I could set it up on the mast. Thanks everybody for watching. Again, if you're watching this on the Ponderosa, you might want to check out my ham radio channel, Ham Radio Concepts. The link is in the description. If you're checking out Ham Radio Concepts and you see this, you're going to see this a lot on the Ponderosa. So check it out there as well. Thanks for watching everybody. 7-3. Have a good day.